I feel like I was eating <laughs> healthy. That is so right. funny. Because well, Bailey brought it up no. and Michael no. brought it up too. The, um, it's well, free it's, food. It's yeah. great. It's free <laughs> food, but it's one of those things that it's kind of cruel because we're all trying to like look good on camera and stuff. And, and they're, they're like, they free it, warm yeah. baked cookies. Yeah. And I'm like, God, I can't. Mm. But then we're eating them and like all the people that work on the show are like, you know, it's really nice to see these actresses eat them. <laughs> and I'm like, Give me more it's cookies. Hard, it's <laughs> hard out here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Take what you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Let's get into the episode. Oh, this episode was written by Wendy Goldman. Yes, we love her. She's. I call sweetest. her Betty Boop. <laughs> she looks that's like my, that's my nickname for her. She has this like like ooh like this she's attitude. Just a ray she's so of sweet and she's just you, yeah. But she's, she's an awesome so, writer. Like spunky and so yeah. amazing. She's yeah. amazing. The so whole she, writing. She wrote. She wrote the whole she, episode. She wrote mm-hmm. the whole episode. Oh, yeah. Wow. So what's funny? I wrote is, half of it. Not what's funny it. is <laughs> what's funny is all the writers kind of sat down and they all discussed. You know, they had the ideas for the breakdown of what the season was going to be in each episode, and they all were like saying which episodes they wanted and they all happened to want different episodes so they all wound up with the episodes that they wanted oh nice. awesome That's dope. which is cool oh. I love that the line uh, <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird I love the horny parrot line <laughs> like, I've never heard that comparison I was like that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was, and that was that, that was, was a fun scene to yeah. shoot because I I came up to Carter and Wendy and I was like how much of a pair do you want me to sound like and yeah. they were like they were like find find a, a happy medium don't go right. too crazy but there you are know, a few times that I laughed right. and, <laughs> I broke. and Katie messed it up it's so we funny do we, it again we got a blooper reel and like all of the bloopers are me breaking and laughing <laughs> that is so funny yeah. I, I want to well, her her really intense her cursing. <laughs> <laughs> you were just looking at me like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought that was a perfect, perfect to put on Instagram. The it's a great line. Yeah. yeah. So at the beginning of the episode, I guess this is more for Roy and Cortez. Did you think that Katie's character um, was jealous because of Amy or because of Liam? I think she was using it as an excuse. She was jealous of their kiss, but I think there was something going on more internally because of that kiss. Right. With, for Amy. Yeah. It's and really amazing. I feel like people are talking about me while I'm in the room. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. You are. And I don't you know. Are. And I don't know. We're I'm talking like, behind your back. Sometimes people yeah. call me Amy. But like, I don't know. Name. It was very hard for me to call Bailey. Bailey, Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. I still, it's hard. You know hard. what? For some reason, me too. Yeah. And so, and I work with her, and right. I always want to call her Lauren. Well, she, right. she, she could like be a Lauren. Lauren. She yeah, she looks Lauren. like a Lauren. I know. She yeah. could be. Lauren. <laughs> what about? She's tiny. What about you, Cortez? <laughs> so Did you think um, that Carmel liked Amy, or do you think she was jealous of Liam? I definitely think it was more so a jealous thing to where, because if you remember, she looked at Liam before she walked away, like. Nigga, are you saying? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> she looked at him like, excuse me, sorry, oh. wrong word, wrong word, sorry. Oh, but she's like, southern in here, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she's like, are you serious? <laughs> and walked away. So it was more so. <laughs> sorry, that's okay. <laughs> it was more so. Um, yeah, I think she was like looking at Liam a little bit more. Okay, all right. Well, before we get back into the episode, let's talk about Maria's new book that came out today. Yeah, we got a little Ooh. promo. Maria's gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's hit it. Where are you, Maria? Hey guys, Maria Menounos here, and I want to share my newest book, The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness with you. Basically, every woman always stops me and asks me how I lost 40 pounds, so I decided to put it all in one book. Everything I did to lose 40 pounds step by step, and how you can too is in here. I did it with no time, no money, and no willpower, and now I'm going to show you how to do it too. You can pre-order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, wherever books are sold, and it's out June 3rd, so I hope you guys love it. I hope it helps you in your weight loss journey, and please, please tweet me and update me on your progress at Maria Menounos. Thanks. <laughs> Y'all, I got to get that book. Yes. Bikini yes. season. Yes, if, if you remember, she also had the Every Girl's Guide to Life. This is the book, Every Girl's Guide She looks amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. see yeah. these yeah. photos because I'm like, when did she have photos? Yeah, there we go. Yes. 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 I know, right? And she looks amazing. She looks awesome. You all go out and get I, this book. Yeah. She, uh, Maria Menounos is actually our founder of After Buzz TV. So we love her very dearly. Talking about so. having to prance around in some laundry. Yeah. Mm. If I looked like that, I would wear underwear <laughs> everywhere. I would wear corsets all the time. <laughs> really? And she's holding an apple. And what is this? I eat an apple every day. See, and I don't... That may be in the book. So if you and I don't look like that. that. So I just you... got to start doing more mm. sit-ups. And stay away mm. from the craft. Whoa, I don't know. I'm never no staying cookies. away from yeah. the craft. Yeah. You know what, girls? <laughs> no. Keep eat eating cookie. the craft. Yes. Eat, eat the craft. craft but it's not, just, it's not just how she lost 40 pounds and... It's also how she kept it off. 
Yeah. Yes. And she's also, she That's eats the hardest things too. She doesn't just go hardcore yeah. diet. She eats everything normal. She goes That's, to Chili's a lot. I mean, those, 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 those diets don't work. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a health coach and it's 80% nutrition yeah. and 20% exercise. And I think yeah. it's just consistent. So, yeah. It's staying consistent. Can, Active consistently, mm-hmm. but you can have those cookies though. But you just have to do something else. I can't give up the cookies. I've been I had doing it. Today. Eat a cookie, um, run a lap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a know? cookie for every lap you run. Yeah, good one. All right, should boom, we get back boom, into the episode? Yeah. Oh, right. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole episode, Liam is torn, or he's not torn, but he's upset because well, at first it seemed really genuine because I thought he didn't want everyone to think that he was ruining this relationship mm-hmm. and this whole thing. But then in the end, we find out that. He wanted to. Yeah. I was kind of thrown I by that. I was flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. I was dumbfounded I was and <laughs> flabbergasted. What I was like, you got? I'm loving the words. <laughs> did you guys think, expect him to react that I way? Think, see, that's the thing. Is like I realize everybody, and it's not just because I play Karma and that I work with Greg, but like I feel like everybody obviously want Karma and Amy to wind up together so everybody hates on Liam but like Don't he's hate on not Liam. a bad guy no he's no. not and he really he's likes not, this girl he really likes this girl and everybody you know they're watching it from the viewer's perspective so they see Amy's side where Amy you know is in love with Karma and then they see Karma side where she's wanting to be with Liam and vice versa. Everyone just loves Karma and she's meanwhile in the corner eating cookies. So it's just... <laughs> that was not where I was going with that. <laughs> but but my thing is, is she's like, over there crapping. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's wrong that like Liam knows that they're a couple, right? And is like still going after it. But like, can't help how you feel, right? Well, and I like Karma, Karma and Liam. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I like every I time do. they secretly hook well, up selfish. in his only class. Careful. I do too. <laughs> I mean, I it's talk. a good looking couple. Yeah. I do too I because to here's the thing: is it, nobody keeps this into consideration, and I get it. But <laughs> Karma's a 15 year old girl. Boom. She yeah. wants yes. to be with the cute boy. I was 15. I pined after the cute boy, and then I wanted my best friends to be there for me to tell them, right? And to say, oh my god, so I kiss this cute boy. Boy, and like I really like him and I really think he likes me like we made every out girl, in an art box we made out in an art box like every girl an wants that yeah. <laughs> whatever and no one, box. Yeah. I don't know what's it called yeah, glass case of that? emotions sex glass case of emotions a, a, a sex glass box. Sex case sex box sex <laughs> box yeah. he's been working on this sex box the whole the season that's box. his only class that he has every time we see Liam <laughs> he's in the workshop in the workshop <laughs> my brother my brother watches the show my brother looks at me he goes so when do you guys go to class? Right. <laughs> and I'm like, Hester High is different. <laughs> I swear, the scene with Liam, anytime he's in the art room, reminds me of Footloose. And he's just mad. He's got to dance. You know? yeah. like, right. yeah. like, I, would, I would love a Kevin Bacon breakout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, Liam, get oh, to it, get it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little selfish. And so I want um, Carmia, uh, Carmi and, and Liam Carmi. to be together because I want Amy to myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How does that make you feel? You know? My headphones just fell off. <laughs> Don't make her blush over there. I'm then. a little flustered. So I said, I what said, about Karma? Well, Whitney, well, Whitney Karma, if you're watching. Amy. Karma, you have enough options. Yeah. 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 Well, they, told me, they told me I could not be so in, play in, play in, well, you told me I couldn't play in Hester High School. Yeah, you don't look like you're in high school, Cortez. I can just cut this off. Yeah. Listen. I cannot work out anymore and cut this off. He's the, I promise he's you. He's the D1 it. football player. Right. Yeah. 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 You yeah. could be like the football right. coach or See, something. Oh, oh, that's a different scandal. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. I think that's over. a little illegal. <laughs> next year, I think next year, year I'm faking it. that. If faking it goes into high, I mean, into college, maybe you can <laughs> take that, take a role there. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks Sterling. Sorry, I didn't know. I was, I was just being realistic here. I just want to help realistic you pursue your dreams. I'm not going to be realistic. You know who I really feel bad for, though, is Oliver. Yeah. Yes. Oh, He's yeah. so yeah. cute. Like, I what really a cutie. Oh, what yeah. are his faces? <laughs> Why don't you like him? <laughs> because I'm in love with you. <laughs> but like my thing, like the line that he says Am I where he goes, my time? I don't know. Yeah. But the line, the line that he says where he goes, I have a shoulder to cry. I have, in case you have a sh- need a shoulder to cry on, I got both of those. If one gets damp, I was yeah. like, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't care. No. <laughs> you guys are supposed to go to lunch and eat millet. It's right. the great yeah. of the day. Yes. He it lunches. Why don't yeah. you lunch with him? She's, Amy is, 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 um, She's just caught Tortured. up on this girl, she's and so nothing. Up. She can't see anyone or anything else. Aww. That's what, what happens when you're in love. What was the girl you went on That's a love. date with at Twain? Jasmine. Was it Jasmine? Yes. Yes. Are we gonna see her again? Do you want to see her again? Of course. 
Yeah. yeah. We need to make Karma jealous, you know? He's make moved, her want what he's she moved on from Amy. No, he's already, no, no. I, I, see yeah. his, I see it in his eyes. He's, he's moved no. on from Amy. Oh, no, no, I would never move on from Amy. I want to see Jam- Jasmine more so because, I, I don't know, I think she played a, a really good part. She in, did. You know. Yeah, she was kind of like what Shane is for Amy. And yeah. Shane is that person, her her kind of mentor in a way. Because she doesn't know what she's doing. She's never had these feelings before. And you have Shane and Jasmine. And they're both very comfortable with themselves. And they know who they are. And, you know, they're out and, right. and proud to be out. They're not victims of anything. And so she meets this other person who's a girl um, who basically tells her, you know, if you if you need to to navigate your way through all of this, then you could always, you know, come to me. So exactly. she's important in that way. Exactly. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I was like, I want to see her again, yeah. but not yeah. with you. Jasmine's yeah. her Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I like Jedi. it because they <laughs> set it up for her to come back, I think. I think, yeah, yeah they did. Come and she her. was great. She was really awesome. She wasn't going to be like this, like, amazing, you know, Gandhi for you if they weren't going to bring her back. That's true. That's true. The, the talk in some sense. Like the siblings in the bar, they're probably not going to bring them back, the twins. No. Oh yeah. my gosh, please don't. That was <laughs> no. so yeah. uncomfortable. That yeah. was so... <laughs> I, I hope they were kidding I hope first. they figure that out. I do. I yeah. they, I, well, at I least they're in too. love. Yeah. Again, love is key, But before we move right? on, um, Sterling brought something to um, our attention last week about how when you call Shane, he never answers, but he always gives good advice like, yeah i was saying i yeah. need that person i can call that doesn't answer but i work it out myself have you noticed like oh yeah. yeah oh like oh, call you're me so back right right exactly and i talk it out to myself and there's a light you're bulb always call me <laughs> yeah. and he never answers but right he gives you good advice that person doesn't even have to exist like it right can be like i guess a, i could call myself like some kind of like, <laughs> leave a voicemail right yeah. for yourself hey sterling hey sterling, hey, it's sterling. It's sterling. <laughs> You know, it's me again. <laughs> yeah, great family plans. You can get another cell phone. Just do it. You know? yeah. Get the pleasure exactly. of hearing the phone ring. Exactly. So what do we do about that? All right. Well, let's get back so, into Karma's plan of their celebrity split up. So first she says that she's breaking up with Amy because Amy doesn't want kids. Yeah. And then she they change it to something more realistic. Like that colleges. Different colleges, which is a good breakup. That's why I broke up with my mm-hmm. high school boyfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, <laughs> too soon it's for awkward. colleges to talk about that? I mean, if you're 15, no. you're not graduating yeah. yet. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, Karma thinks stuff out. Yeah. yeah. Way I in think advance. A planner. She's you know, a there planner. are. And there, I, I don't think, like, I think that she was just trying to find ways for them to break up and, like, trying to think. She's like, oh, that's logical. Yeah. We're in high school. We're going to be going to college. It's fine. It's but, more realistic than the I kids mean, thing. It's satire yeah, yeah. Of, of, of teenagers reading way too much Us Weekly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, and then it ends up being. Um, wait, first of all, the funniest thing I thought was that you guys would have these like enclosed meetings of like my readers want the facts. It was yeah. so like what is that scandal? It was very like scandal. yeah, it was that, very yeah. Olivia Pope. Yes, and, and then they made scene, the Olivia the way, Pope joke. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. but the way they shot that scene where it was the three of us and you know just that circular that, scene was yeah. so cool. Yeah, Ours, there was our our. Um, cinematographer Doug is amazing. Shout out to Doug. He's awesome. But I remember we had like five minutes until it had to, we had to wrap. Yeah. And we had to do that scene where it was wrapping People around. Were and I just out. remember like we were doing it and we were doing it quickly so we had no time to think about how funny the situation actually was. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the last one of the last takes we had I just remember like I was doing this doing this looking at the Vashti Nadira character and then all of a sudden I just went <laughs> and I just broke laughing and the then everyone yeah, everyone, everyone got so laugh. mad they were so pissed they were like we have to get this oh and I was God. like I'm sorry I Jamie was gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> we got it though we got it yeah we got yeah. it I, I would have never known so in five right. minutes how many takes did you have to do we could, that's the thing we didn't even know because it kept going oh. in a circle and they were oh, like we let's do it again it. and we had no idea oh, what gosh. where it was and I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> Always a struggle. <laughs> Life is hard. I have to say, Cortez did mm-hmm. get a prediction correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, got to give him props yeah. where props are due. He said that Tommy was going to spill the beans about the threesome happening, I did. which mm-hmm. he does to Lauren and Lisbeth and Leela, or is it like Layla? Layla. Yeah. All right. And I love those two, by the way. Yeah. They're, They're hilarious. hilarious. It's hilarious. The part oh where she goes, well. There are those hits. Yeah. <laughs> we die. She's yeah. been waiting to say. My favorite scene was how that whole thing was very mean girls-y. Yeah. And, she, and it just, I didn't even hear what they actually said because I was like thinking <laughs> like, about, she, she slapped me in the face once. It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just what I was thinking. The part where she goes, 
she like, was it was like she sneezed on my face once and she didn't even apologize. <laughs> How could she? But Lauren takes us as an opportunity to you know kind of make her make a yeah. little status symbol change it into the mean girl yeah, status. She, yeah so she realizes that all the hotties of the school that liam's hooked up with are going to bond together over this over the fact that he is ruining these relationships and they're mm -hmm. still trying to get over him and that whole thing but she actually just wants friends she doesn't really care about the whole liam thing but because at lunch she's like oh so let's talk about like my outfit instead of liam you know yeah so, but that plan doesn't really go that well because Shane is out to get her. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. And then everything unravels. <laughs> dun, dun. Because thun, of thun, the pills. The pills. Thun, Lizbeth, thun, thun. what are we going to do with Lizbeth? Spilling the beans about the pills. <laughs> but, now, but now everyone knows that it's a threesome and everyone knows that that's why the relationship's on the rocks. And it's like in my high school, like if it ever came out to the school, the school that there was a threesome going on, that would be shut down. Edward. Yes. But instead, Principal Penelope's like, let's announce it. Well, yes. it's a very um, progressive high school. Yeah. Yeah. Really Here's is. one thing you don't do in your high school, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was a little shocked that they made it on the announcements with the thing and kind of gave them a forum. Yes. Yeah. Or just don't. It always don't makes tell me anyone laugh. you're going to do that. Yeah. Because it will get out. It always makes me it laugh. It always gets when out. Karma's like, I invited Liam into the threesome. I'm like, <laughs> you're saying this on the morning out the announcements. <laughs> but it's really funny how like the teachers and the, the lunchroom lady are so involved. Yeah, yeah. Like, Irma. Everything. I love that lady. Yeah. That little rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Irma. She's Jaw amazing. Here? She's all <laughs> here. <laughs> Come on, hey, break, break it up. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> love it. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, so I was thinking that um Karma is obviously jealous, and she's having to think of all of all of these reasons, and they never really came up with one. But you apologize on the news and say that it was your fault, and Amy takes this as you kind of coming out to her about your feelings for Amy. Mm -hmm. And Liam definitely thinks that it's, you know, you're like, oh, well, he getting doesn't like together. me, mm -hmm. that you're getting back together with Amy. And Isn't that's, that crazy how that yeah. happens? Yeah. The yeah. irony of it. Miscommunication yeah. at exactly. its finest. Exactly. And I spoke a lot about this whole, the whole ending part of you know after I we make up and everything and we're sitting in the schoolyard and then you know of course I apologized to her and say I really did mean it and then the whole part with Liam it really was what I love about this episode is it really was karma realizing the crap that she's put started everybody there. through mm -hmm. and the and the stuff that she started and really realizing what an effect it has it's the first time that karma has understood the repercussions of her actions right yeah. mm -hmm. so that's what I love about the show and when she you know, she really means it when she says it to Amy. You know, I meant it. I really did mess up. And I think that we sh should still break up and go back to being the way that we were. Like, what I love about it is there was no underlying plan for anything. She was just sincerely like, I just want to have my friend back and I promise I'm going to make this up to you. Right. And then... And you could I, of course, <laughs> interpret it totally differently. <laughs> yeah. And think that she's, you know... In love with that, you. That she's in love with me. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did like that Karma realized, finally realized that how the situation that she's putting Amy in because I say this every single week. Amy has gotten the shortest in yeah. of the yeah. Yeah. in every episode, the and poor it's girl will yeah. not catch a break. Yeah, you really, <laughs> Amy really can't catch a break. So she I really, really did can't. like that Karma kind of step back and she moves to Hawaii that. in episode eight. So she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I can't deal with this I can't. anymore. She's not even in the eighth episode. <laughs> <laughs> So then, so then Liam, so then you go to Liam and the boot, sex booth. Yes. And this <laughs> was, this was, the it's, the, it's, the, it's the Thunderbox. This, the thunderbox. Was, this was something oh that like, the you know, going from... through and like analyzing this whole script and analyzing like me, Carter and I, when talking about it and Wendy, when talking about it, we discussed how karma was honestly just going there to apologize right like no expectations she just wants everything to go back to normal so she was just like <laughs> I thought that why are I'm, you laughing i'm going to the me. thunder box <laughs> <laughs> karma <laughs> made another binder <laughs> <laughs> that is so true the but I actually thought, that's the first thing that came to my mind i was like the light is gonna come up and they're gonna be having sex i actually thought that we were going to see, like, the camera on the outside of the box. In the shadow. In the shadow. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. I knew you were going to kiss or something. I just didn't think well, that and, was going to be at a And me reading it, you should have seen me the first time I got the script. I was like, oh, how cute. She's going to apologize. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't understand what it was. And then I thought, how are they going to make but this work? But you know work? what? I right. did like, realize. What is, what's the I did box? realize what's what it was because Gossip Girl <laughs> was my guilty pleasure oh, yes. back, back one, one day long ago. Back in the day. <laughs> but ser- the characters Serena and Dan, mm. like it's like the two unlikely people, they get together right. and they get together in like this tented thing and there's like lightning on the walls and stuff. I was like, Oh my god! I feel like I'm in Gossip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I like wrecked my knees during that scene because it was we were Same. on. Oh yeah, Same. they were. Yeah. I was there when and you guys shot start. it, and I was just going like, I was like, ow, right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was difficult. But that's a thing that I was saying before. Before Rita was laughing at. Me. <laughs> I just have so many inappropriate things in my mind right now. <laughs> Jokes. We're now talking now about say. a sex box. I'm sorry. Now's, now's the time. Let them but, all. Go. Let them but all go. no, like. <laughs> It, it, like everybody's gonna be real pissed at karma i get it i understand everybody wants Carmi together but it, she wasn't going there to have sex with liam right she was going i, to I didn't apologize. get the vibe that you were going to try to hook up. i, I, I just, just started laughing i was yeah. just sitting there watching with you guys and i was like ready and all the angry tweets <laughs> yeah three <laughs> two <laughs> one and no. everything was like karma no <laughs> Anything that just shows how how wonderful of a character she is yeah. because for her to to admit to herself and to Liam that you know look I I'm sorry that I lied to everybody I'm sorry that I did this and she she you were gonna walk away you didn't go there with any other intention so I think that was very big of her how Thank noble. You. Yeah, Thank but you. what she said was kind of mean inside too like when she said that she's gonna break up with Amy she doesn't even know. Yeah. That was kind of, and Liam's the only one that knows about that. Yeah. I was like, sneaky. Whoa. Oh, that's but right. But at the same time, when the lights what went on, about that? I was Wait, like, what? yeah. When, when you, I said what? You, <laughs> you said the lights went on. I forgot said, about the very end of it. I said, you're faking the uh, getting back together. Yeah. And you're going to break up. But well, you but are I the did only one say, that knows it. I did say that. Well, Amy to does Amy. know that. Yeah, yeah, but I had just said, I think we should break up for real. But the way you said it. Uh, to Liam, like you mm-hmm. are the only one that knows it, so we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting Liam to be just like so 100% in for I think I'm falling for you, and then Karma being like, I'll catch you. Which, yeah, <laughs> like I was like, let's yeah. put some extra cheese lines. Yeah, yeah. Know, right? but I wasn't yeah. expecting it to take that turn because this whole time I just felt like he just wanted to hook up. Maybe but not. that's the best place to hook up. I'm just going to say, I can't it's hate Karma box. for that. No, you yeah. can't top that. You exactly. can't top a box that has that thunder was. in it. You so just who, can't. Who keep that box? Let me, I did. It's, it? my, it's my garage. Oh. So, so <laughs> I'm not going to talk. It. I'm Some not nicknamed Thunderbox. I'm, thunder. <laughs> I had two memorable last scenes with both of them. I'm not going to say which my last scene with Rita was because that was in a, that's in episode 8. Okay. But well, the last ahead. scene, the last scene that I shot it's with Greg circle. of the entire first season was the box. What a way to go out with the what bang. Yeah. Oh. Go out and the I bang. watched the whole thing. She was sitting yeah. on the sidelines yeah. going. Really? I was like what's going to happen? <laughs> well, cuz it was beautiful yeah. the way yeah. that it was shot and I I again like seeing it all come together was really cool because the way that it was written in the script, I didn't really understand. I couldn't it. visualize yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, when okay. I saw Karma walking in, I'm like, okay, there's sand. Well, that, that can be doable. Sand's kind of yeah. like a beach. I guess it's romantic. And then when the lights switch, I'm like, okay. Your walk. Cool. Hey, you, can you, know. tell, you can tell by your walk. Like, you as you're walking in there, like, the way that sound of your walk was like, Dum. it's the boots. I'm coming to, I'm coming it's to the apologize. Boots. Boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to apologize. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> now, real quick, before we get into the questions, we've got a lot of fan questions that we want to ask you guys. Okay. Um, and I want you guys to see your little swag bag. Uh, book, um, so, Liam talks about his family in this episode, too. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm like a booker. You know, I destroy I lives. Destroy and... people's lives. So, is that for you guys? Because I'm sure you might know, and I don't know. I'm not going to try and get that out. We of actually here, but... don't. Oh, okay. Well, then perfect. <laughs> well, then um, I have no idea either. Do you think <laughs> they don't know? I don't know. <laughs> do you think that's a reflection on his father then? Of like course. his father really did something really harsh. Because if that's, of course, I don't. I know we were thinking that. about how we think that his family that. doesn't love him, or yeah. maybe he, you know, they don't have a relationship. But I actually think that they did something. So what well, do you think happens to the real mother? Isn't the whole squirkle thing like the yeah, they're stealing that's what I'm saying, students' yeah. like information and stuff? That's pretty bad. But yeah. what happened to Liam's real mother? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me, Sterling. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's amazing <laughs> though is that like Carter and the writing team, everybody on the show has a secret, and each individual pe- each individual person like we all know what our secret is. 
but oh. we're not allowed to we're not allowed to say anything oh. so like greg knows Ooh. what his secret is yeah. bailey knows what her secret is and we're all just kind of like honestly we wait don't i don't think you and i really have well our secret, secret is like as big as no obviously oh right it's your, well, that makes sense not, Amy is oh that's right the right. show is about your secret in case you need me to that, tell oh, you yeah. is that what it was <laughs> oh, i missed that part right. well amy i don't think amy really has a secret i just think she just have yeah, a she mystery does. she yeah. she will well, have she, more secrets well at, the, at this point i just think she has a mysterious a mysterious oliver? life yeah well yeah oliver. What, well oliver but my thing is like oliver i know what his secret is. where's your father <laughs> Where's, Where's your father? father? Where is my father? We don't know yet. We don't know that. That's a mystery. That's and right. I think that season, that, season that will be developed in and season And that's two another thing of why I like that happen. the writers here, though. Like, they actually have a lot to keep seasons to keep going. Yeah. They do. Well, because that's the thing is, like, yeah. you know, I am not creative in the uh, writing scripts aspect. So, like, when I first read the pilot, I was like, how are they going to keep Where this, is this gonna going? Go? Yeah. yeah. How is this going to keep going? And then now, you know, after, because we've seen all the episodes, I'm like, God, I can't wait to see. They're so good. good. Yeah, there yeah. are so many Were options. you expecting for it to be this popular or this, like, good? <laughs> we, when I, I when, knew. When we read it, we knew that it was, it was a really awesome concept because there's not really anything like this for that demographic of young right. kids. Mm -hmm. Um we didn't realize though the reception that it would have i mean we i think when you go into something you know you hope that people are going to watch it and are, they're going to you know like it but you're also on set for like 13 hours a day and you're yeah. shooting and it's out of sequence and you don't really have really kind of an idea of how it all comes together and you're not even thinking about what's actually going to happen when it's out there so when it came out and all the social media attention and the fandom it's just it's incredible so no yeah, yeah. i you can hope for it, but until it actually happens, you just, you don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. And and I think that it's one of those things, like, I remember we would, like, sit and just talk to each other and be like, do you I think, hope they like, like us. Do you think that <laughs> they're going to like us? Like, do you think it's going to be popular? And we're like, I hope so. And then I remember, like, it was right, at, what was that? Right after the show aired when we were in New York, mm -hmm. we were just like... In Rita's hotel room, and we were just like crying. We like, cried like three Aww. times. We that cried trip. like three times. And we, we cried. Crying, and I, was I like, cried in a bathroom. And, and I was like, <laughs> Katie cried in the living room. And, and I was then we like, cried in the car. I just we so many different crying. locations. So many different. We never cried together. We, no, we were crying we together. Cried together. We were like, yeah. I was like, people like us, but like, I'm scared. And she was like, I'm scared too. I don't want anything to change. I was Aww. like, let's never change. Like just the cheesiest <laughs> yeah. crying session. Well, that shows your humility, though. I love it. That shows your humility. I love it. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, this is like both of our first things. Yeah. And, and because we're a part of MTV, we wouldn't have been able to do the stuff that we did otherwise. We do like cool stuff. Like, you know, obviously their headquarters is in New York and so we were on a billboard in New York and that's and that was my first Stop. time in New York. Oh awesome. yeah. yeah I've never this, that was my here. first time this in New York. Goes well, to New York no, I've for been the first when time. I was like yeah. six, but it was like a day. But this is like my <laughs> official trip to New York and I get Lucky. there and, and you see that, it's just mind blowing. And okay. I've been I'm from Connecticut, so I had been to New York a million times and just like as a little kid would go to Times Square and be like, I really hope one day my face is up there. <laughs> and then we were walking to Times Square because we were going to see our billboard, and I just knew that we were approaching. And I didn't like, know. I, I knew. Then it was I knew coming. where we were, but I didn't know on what side. And I'm just like, <laughs> and then I run. I just start walking faster, and Katie's behind me, and, and I'm just like, and I know it? it's happening. <laughs> I know it's happening, and I just like start like shortness of breath and everything, <laughs> and then like I see it, and we both start we're crying and like hugging. And there yeah. are these two guys eating hot dogs, and they're just kind of like not understanding <laughs> why we're two girls like crying in front of a billboard. And then they like look up like, at the billboard, and they're, and they're looking they at us, and they were they're like, like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> and they recognize us. <laughs> but like other than that, like nobody else came up to us. Like we're no. sitting, like taking photos people with our billboards, we and people are like, "People thought we were crazy." Yeah. Because those girls, girls, those girls must really be fans of those two girls <laughs> there on the, on the billboard. Yeah. Are there? Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, funny. so funny. All right, should we get into some fan questions? Yeah. Okay. So we have a bunch. Okay. Yeah, yeah we got so many questions. So, so we're gonna so have to do this. This is how we're gonna do it. Okay. We have numbers one through twenty-three, and oh. you guys get to choose those numbers. Okay. So that way. We aren't and picking. And we'll read the question yes. for the number. Cool. And obviously, guys, I didn't. I tried to filter it, but we'll see. Anyways, pick your number. <laughs> I, who's five? Okay. Okay, number five. Oh, this is from on Twitter <laughs> at flawless Carmi because oh, you guys are they make so up awesome flawless. For a Ooh, one. hashtag flawless. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, flawless. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Queen Bay. Okay, this is for Rita. Okay. Who's the better kisser, Katie or Greg? 
Choose wisely. <laughs> and then for Katie, I'm gonna so you can start thinking about it. Who's the better kisser, kisser, Rita or Greg? Well, Katie, um, <laughs> I remember a, a, a certain interview that recently happened where you were asked that same question, mm, okay. and you said that they were both great kissers. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna reciprocate your answer mm -hmm. and say they are both. Great kissers. Oh, I thought I was gonna get some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, Katie? I feel like now I should like come up with an. Oh, you're gonna say. Answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will stick with my same answer, but I will give explanations as to why. Go ahead, go for it. Um, I will start. I'll leave you for last. I'll start with Greg. Okay. Greg, I call Greg pillow lips mm -hmm. because they're just like. Soft pillows. They're like two Tempur Pedics. Oh. Two tiny Tempur Pedics. <laughs> what more could you want? What more could you want? That's yeah, yeah. Two you... tiny Tempur Pedics. And <laughs> so what Rita, do you call Rita? <laughs> Rita. Are you saying my lips are small? <laughs> no, no, no. Rita <laughs> has very voluptuous lips as Angelina well. Angelina Jolie. She's like Angelina <laughs> Jolie oh. and oh, please don't. <laughs> like, no, keep going. And like Giselle, <laughs> just she's got like this Giselle Boonchin thing going on, and the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show yes. is like my holiday. I like watch that every year, and I'm. It's like I tell myself I'm going to go on a diet. This is getting way off the subject. <laughs> but I tell myself I'm going to look like that by the next year. So, Victoria's and Secret. And this has been going on for years. Apparently she had to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see. So, like, I lived out. It's like I would kissed her when she was in her bra and underwear. And she mm -hmm. kind of has, like, this Giselle Bunchen thing going on. So, it was kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to change my answer, too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the same note. Greg, I agree with what you said. Yes, he has pillow lips um katie and he smells nice and he smells nice <laughs> he has great hair <laughs> he has great hair it's nice to you know run your fingers through his and head. he's british and he's british mm. um mm -hmm. <laughs> but katie can we talk about someone me, else <laughs> but can, but can, I, but can <laughs> I add we're both bilingual Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Katie um, loves red lipstick, and she wears red lipsticks li or red lipstick That's, a lot. This so, is an awful thing to lead up to kissing me with red lipstick yeah. on. Continue. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was gonna say was that when we're on, you know, set, we have a little bit of input into kind of what our makeup is like, and so they put nice, bright lipstick on Katie, and it's just nice to look at the the voluptuous. Red lips before sum it you up, kiss sum them. It up, sum it up, make it look good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> make all right, it look let's good. Get it, let's <laughs> get Mine was question. so much better. <laughs> I'm let down like, a little. Why? They look gorgeous. You don't. That, you're saying you like staring at my lips <laughs> and kissing them. That's I'm not... saying the anticipation <laughs> that happens before you kiss them. All right. You're like, all right. All right. I think all right. that's a compliment. I know. All right. Right. Let's get into the next question. <laughs> What's the next number? Are you two? Three. Number three. All right. All right so. Three three this is from at faking it daily. Okay. <laughs> Describe each each other's characters in one word. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Planner. Okay. okay. I mean that's kind of boring. <laughs> but I can understand why. That's um, no. I'll think of another one. That's good. <laughs> uh, firecracker. <laughs> that's good. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. They make it good. Secretive, but like you're not. Um. Uh. This is so hard. Why did I get one word? Just say vegan shorts. <laughs> Just say cook say, em bush. Wait. <laughs> cook em bush. Um. Uh. Come for back. We don't remember that. Come back. <laughs> Discovering. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I actually right. like that. Okay. That All right. Pick next another question. Number. Okay. All right. Last one. Okay. Last one. Yeah. We're running out of time. Oh, I'm sorry. God. Dun, Thirteen. Dun, dun, dun. No Thirteen. Pressure. All right. Fa at faking out. What's the best scene you had to film? Slash favorite. Um. Yeah, it hasn't. It, there is. Yet. There hasn't happened yet. That's all we can say. Okay. It hasn't happened yet. It hasn't yet. happened yet. It's yeah. in next episode. And we're, oh. Yeah. So that you both have the same. So I will totally next week after. The episode we'll airs. gush all about it. We'll gush all. Can about you tell it. us yeah. one that has already happened? That was fun. To, oh yeah. That was fun um, yeah, I love I love the croak and boosh episode. That it's scene really where good. we throw everything at each other. I was scared because we had two um, two models, two fake ones, I think, and then a, and a real one, and it was very technical there was a certain way that i had to reach my hand in so that it would fall over so yeah. i had to do the scene obviously would you know i'd done 
like all the lines leading up to it before but then there was like a master shot where I went past you know the room said my lines and you know had to go in and and punch this cake and I was so nervous and all I could tell myself was don't screw it up don't screw it up because you have like two shots to do it and um and of course I wasn't even thinking about my lines but you know yeah that was but it was a fun it was a fun day and things got messy and katie was like so desperately she just wanted, wanted that hit. stuff she wanted to get hit and she was just like hit me, by hit the me. end of it like nothing had hit, hit me you. so i just like so i, I just took like, it and i was just like and i put some <laughs> cream Coconut. puff on her head <laughs> yeah mine um i would say like i liked shooting all of episode three i just thought like the dynamic of me trying to one-up the soleil character mm -hmm. like was just so funny i, I that just loved that and, and, you got and, to sing. and yeah. i got to sing and the singing that's a thing yeah, though it's like song. i sing all the time in front of um like a lot of people and i feel more comfortable singing in front of a lot of people than singing in front of a small crowd mm -hmm. and when and we me. filmed that when we filmed that part I, it was they were just like playing the song like over and I had to like lip sing it but the fact that like it was me singing and all of these people that were in the room were listening to me and I could see all of their faces I was so nervous I was shaking like a leaf yeah. and it's one of those things that like when I, si I could sing for thousands of people <laughs> but when it's like five people in a room and I see all their faces yeah, right. I don't want to mess up and then see someone's face go <laughs> yeah. It's much more up close and personal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do we have time to get into predictions, or do you have your oh, uh, let's, the we winner promised, of the creative? Yeah, we asked question. the fans to give us a creative question, something that we can't Google or find on other interviews and stuff. So at faking out, actually got a good one, and so did uh, at JJ two eight four B. So faking out's question is <laughs> if like you a Terminator. Can, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? like... <laughs> All right. If uh, you could write your own episode in season two, what would happen in that episode? Oh man. Ooh. Oliver and Amy would be together. Ooh. Um, Cortez oh, appears. I would want. I would want. Cortez appears. Yeah. I would want. I would really like. Is this weird that I really would like to have Karma walk in on her parents smoking weed? Is that weird? <laughs> no. That's, oh. might that be seems a like that. Yeah. No, I feel like that would that. happen. It might yeah. be a little random, but, but let's yeah. go with but it. But that's so nice. Like, that's it like would so, happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I concur. Yeah. Like, Karma would have to, like, her parents, she couldn't find them, and she had to, like, run the juice truck by herself, and then <laughs> right. she's like, where are they? And she finds mm -hmm. them. Not yeah. very creative. This is why I don't write television. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually good, though. That's a good one. Yeah. I don't... I think it would be funny. They're funny. I like my parents. I like my parents, too. I guess, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of parents, I would like Amy to go shopping with her mom and actually enjoy it, because oh, I think... Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think she's such a, you know a clueless character in some ways with all of that that mm -hmm. that I think she just needs to go out and be a little bit more of a girl and learn how yeah. to do that and I think that'd be a sweet okay. moment nice Don't I would also like Amy and Karma to go to dinner with the parents together and have Bruce and <laughs> uh Farah and my parents all at one dinner hang out I want them to be just drunk all of them <laughs> <laughs> that could happen that could happen at the dinner oh that would be yeah. yeah like I want them to get trashed and hang out together and see what happens <laughs> yeah so the Terminator um, uh, the Terminator, Terminator one <laughs> JJ284B <laughs> uh, no no no, 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 no. <laughs> how much lipstick was spit for episode 6 of 3 to Tango how, what how, how much, much lipstick was spent was spent. Like, spent. Yeah. We did not wear lipstick. We well, look wore... at these luscious lips. <laughs> a lot, obviously. <laughs> we wore chapstick. Oh, really? So it was like some reapplications had to occur. <laughs> there was, was no point because they would just get. Of course. It was. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other flavor? Good <laughs> to know. <laughs> Good to know. So you guys do have Thanks little swag bags okay. before we go into quick predictions. Um, Katie, you mentioned in uh, episode three. <gasps> it's Shh. Bieber. Am I don't know if I'm supposed to. No, you see. can. You can oh, look. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> and we have a nice Justin Bieber wallpaper or paper. Yes. This is Ghetto cool. tissue wrap, tissue wrapping for you. Whoa! See, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I got a Green Bay Please. Packer ball yes. opener. <laughs> this is so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, girl. Right. Oh God. <laughs> oh my Wait, God. Whoa. Disney princess. It's Ryan <laughs> Gosling. There you go. <laughs> Disney princesses. In a, in a, Oh, yeah. <gasps> you guys know how to do it. Okay. These are my favorite. Oh, yeah, I love Episode Marty. three. Oh, yeah. Your character was eating uh, M&M's. M&M's. Hold, yeah. hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Is this right. chocolate? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to hide these. My brother's going to try to steal them. I got a Green Bay Packer shot glass <laughs> and a bottle opener. It's like hot tamales. <laughs> this morning. Know, and right? milk duds. 
milk duds. Both of you that who are missing. Chargers. Is this I'm for the three? Is this for the three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you who are listening, we oh, have uh, Amy, and, 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 Amy and Kerma in the studio. It's hands <laughs> going through not there. Live, Brita. It's not Ruth. <laughs> I just got back. that. I didn't realize what happened. <laughs> like the tuna sandwich. <laughs> yes. I just want to know so, where my Ryan you Gosling that book fans? is. The uh, Katie, oh. <laughs> the Chargers thing is to remind you that we're gonna kick your butt in uh, this new season. Just letting you know. Bam. So just remember that every yeah. time. More of an M&M. and yeah. you know what? When you lose, I'll take a shot for you. Good. And I'll <laughs> open it. Yes. Okay, while well, they're this. still going so Thank you, you guys. Take the craft yeah. with you. Thank you. Yes. Yep. <laughs> the craft. We, okay. Quick with you. We have so, to, my dad's going to try to steal these. When Bailey sees it, just let her know hers is on the way. <laughs> and uh, the, hot, <laughs> the okay. hot, hot tamales were for being for last episode. For and being then, so hot. Yeah. And the duds were for being your character's been duds. So when you eat point. the milk duds. I'm not standing up for herself, so oh my God. So when you eat the milk duds, Amy, when you eat the milk duds, think of me. I will. All right, okay. All right, Wait, we're running next. out of- <laughs> I will. Cortez, let's not get into the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we're, running out, chocolate. we're running out of time, so should we do a quick this prediction? Yes. 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 All right, Cortez, All right. what do you think is going to happen? Holy You're God. after Buzz TV. Predictions. Predictions. <laughs> dun, dun, so dun. really quickly, what do you think is going to happen? Um, I don't want to go first. Okay, I do. Really quickly, I think for next season, I'm jumping ahead because I'm hoping for season two, uh, we're going to find out Liam's mom is actually with Amy's father. <laughs> Liam's oh, mom is with wow. Amy and Valor. Oh, Aww. good one. That'd, That'd be cool. I'm just saying, I'm going to throw that out there. And then it's gonna be that's an the only moment. father figure I have. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cordia, yeah, do you have any other ones? No, no, like your birth father. I'm just, I'm I'm like, I, all I, I want is Oliver to be happy. That's not really all, all I'm too. concerned with. <laughs> what about you, Cortez? No, I, you know, I don't have one. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited for the finale. Okay, Katie and Rita, thank you so yeah. much for being here. Can yeah. you please tell the people where you can find you on social media or anything like that? You can find Rita at... Yeah. <laughs> Do you tell them? Because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she didn't know. That's why I'm doing this. I love you. Uh, <laughs> this is at, why I love you. And the real Rita Volk The real on one. Twitter. Uh -huh. She does know. <laughs> Not have I don't an have an Instagram. You need to get on that, sister. <laughs> no, but like they're like a bunch. Of no, fake there are a lot ones. of fake ones, and fans are like. Oh, and you, you can find me at all my social media: Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, because I have all those. <laughs> at the Katie Stevens. Yes. What about you, Cortez? You can find me on all of them: Instagram, social media, and all on Cortez G West. Make sure you go out and pick up your everyday, every girl's guide to diet and fitness by Maria Manona. Yes, and guys, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Hey Roy. That's H E Y R O Y A. Where can we find you, Sterling? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Sterling Cates. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please go on iTunes, rate and review us. Yes. And we'll see you next week for yes. the last episode. Watch yeah. them do the squirk on our social media. Yeah. We're going to have them do the squirk. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.